Hey everyone, it's Nick here at The Pickler and we are here with another Tips Tuesday. This time we're going to be working on the flick speed up shot. We're going to be learning what this shot is and how to execute it. So let's get into the video. Alrighty, so first let's go over how to execute the shot. So where you're gonna hit the shot mostly when you're at the kitchen line. You can do it with your forehand or backhand, but right now we're just gonna be focusing on the backhand flick shot. So we're gonna be in a wide stance just like we're in our ready position, and we're waiting for that yellow zone ball. A yellow zone ball is gonna be around the belly button to chest height. When we're hitting this ball, our paddle's gonna be out, and we're gonna relax our wrist all the way till that paddle touches the ground. We don't want our paddle like this when we're flicking because it's going to cause the ball to go straight into the net. So right when we're in this position, we're going to use our wrist muscles to flick the ball and push that ball right at our opponent, catching him off guard. All right, so a common question is why do we even do the shot and why is it effective? So this is a great disguising shot and it's a great aggressive shot. A lot of times when you're dinking, you don't have the time to do a full swing at them. So being able to do a flick shot is a great way to just hold your paddle out. It's disguising because I can either hit a dink shot again, I can push it wherever, or I can flick it and flick it right at them. Another reason why it's so good is because once you get comfortable with it, it's really easy to place that shot wherever you want. So the best spot to usually aim is either right at the person's dominant hand armpit, or if you recognize that the player sits on their forehand a lot, you can go like this and roll it right to their backhand side. So that is why this is a really good effective shot to use when trying to create offense. Alrighty guys, so let's go over the practices. So I would say there's two steps in the practicing it. I would first work on practicing it with just holding it out of the air and hitting it. And then I would work on getting a partner to drill with and having them feed you it so you can work on hitting it in a more game-like situation. So like I said, what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on all those steps, getting nice and low, paddle dropping and flicking it up trying to get that speed and getting that consistent shot. So I'm gonna hold the ball, I'm gonna toss up, and I'm gonna flick it up like that. So one more, like that. Notice how my paddle dropped and I'm flicking it out, making it go nice and firm and creating that top spin. A common mistake people can do is, like I said, is they kind of get lazy and they don't wanna go all the way down, they go right here. And when that happens, is you're gonna dump it right into the net every time because you can't get under that ball and get that lift shot. So let's show you now how to do it with a partner. All right, so this is my partner, Tim. Now we're gonna be working on hitting this shot with a partner, and we're gonna be working on just hitting that consistent, accurate shot right at their jam points. So we're gonna go start right at the kitchen. And how we're gonna set this up is I'm just gonna dink with Tim, and what he's gonna do is he's gonna work on giving me that yellow zone ball so I can just flick it and place it right there right at him okay biggest thing when working on this shot with a partner is don't focus on a lot of power we're just going to focus on accuracy and placing it on different spots on his body so we're going to show you a couple examples right here as we're hitting it i'm dinking i'm waiting for that ball to get in that yellow zone right when it's there boom i'm flicking it dropping that paddle one more good example dinking and waiting for that ball Boom, flicking it right at him. All right, now I'm gonna show you the wrong way to do it. Like I said, one of the most common mistakes is people don't drop their paddle enough. So when they're hitting, they try to flick it here and the ball's going into the net. So I'm gonna just show you one quick example of the wrong way to do it. So with my partner, I'm waiting for my shot right here and I go and I'm too high on it. One more time. Here. So a couple things I did wrong there is I let that ball was too low, it wasn't in that right spot. The next thing is I didn't get my paddle low enough. So keep those things in mind and you'll have a successful flick shot. Alrighty everyone, that is it for this Tip Tuesday. Subscribe to us to see our next coming up video and comment below what tip you would like us to do next and we'll see you on the courts.